prompting increased scrutiny and demands for transparency from Republicans on Capitol Hill. Joining us for reaction, former Energy Secretary and Texas uh, Governor Rick Perry. Mr. Secretary, great to see you as always. You know, Joe Biden has the reverse Midas touch. Um, you know, if he touches gold, it turns to stone. Uh, you know, his profligate spending, his war on energy, drove up prices of everything at the gas pumps, at the grocery stores. Um, it will only grow worse, will it not, unless he reverses course. And he ain't going to reverse course, so it's only going to get more dire for Americans. Yeah, it's it's frankly very disheartening uh, to watch an individual who is supposed to be trying to make America uh, a better place to live, uh, that he has such disregard for uh, the average citizen out there. You know, I, it, it's probably been decades since uh, he pulled into a gas station and bought a gallon of gasoline. Uh, he, he doesn't understand what the average citizen's going through, the cost of groceries, going to the grocery store, trying to decide whether, you know, do I fill the car up or do I fill it halfway up and try to buy some groceries? All of those things are going on with the American citizen today. He can get up and read what's on the teleprompter or attempt to read what's on the teleprompter uh, and, and do whatever his staff says. But the fact is the American people know that it's his policies uh, it, it's what he said during the campaign that he hated the fossil fuel industry. He's going to do everything he could to stop it. And he's doing that. And the cost to the American people, uh, this fallacy that the left has put its arms around, uh, and I guess we'll go completely off the cliff, that fossil fuels are bad. That's got to be stopped. The American people have to stand back and say, you know what, fossil fuels are at the core of our ability to create wealth in this country, for us to have a flourishing economy, and for the rest of the world to enjoy that at some point in time in the future. These, yeah. you know, net zero by 2050 people like John Kerry et al., they are saying to the rest of the world, the citizens of the world who don't have access to power and electricity today, we don't care about you. Sorry, you're yeah. going to die. I, what I a, have to. What a, what a black-hearted people that is. I have to ask you about the, the president made a big deal that he was going to tap the strategic petroleum reserve to help out Americans to lower gas prices. Instead, we now find out he was secretly diverting millions of barrels of oil to the communist Chinese, and in particular, a company that reportedly his own son, Hunter Biden, invested in. Uh, I mean, if that doesn't strike you as corruption and wrongdoing, I don't know what does. What do you think? Uh, Greg, it, uh, tapping the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, it's there for a natural disaster or a, a national defense issue. It's not there to play economics with. And the idea that, that you can, and it's, it's not that much. I mean, we're talking... Um, a, a relatively small amount in the grand scheme of things from the standpoint of refining. What he should be doing is sending the message to the country, uh, to the oil and gas industry, listen, we're not going to overregulate you, we're not going to overtax you. Uh, send the message to the refining industry that we're going to do what we can to be able to use American energy. If you care about the, the future, you've got to be for American fossil fuels. Secretary Perry, thank you so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.